That's what will cause you to not eat. You've got to work principles. Man that don't work principles will not eat. The principle is if he sow it. All right, then. You got to get the real truth of things. We got to get spiritual maturity in Jesus' name. Father, I love you and I honor you today. I thank you for allowing me to share with your precious people and to teach us about certain things and how we are to be structured in certain things and how we are to function and to flow in things, God. I thank you, Father, for the people that are willing to hear the word of the Lord, but not only willing to hear, but they are willing to allow change and process to happen within their lives, Father. I thank you that we are people that are established according to order and we live according to your truth and your precepts, Father. We live according to the principles that you have established and have set for us. God, I ask in the name of Jesus that none of the word that has been spoken fall to the ground, but that all of it is sown upon our hearts, upon the tablets of our hearts that we might not sin against you, that we're able to see this thing be expressed out in our lives, God. We're able to see the express manifestation and the express fruit of the things that you have talked about, God, to come to pass in our lives. God, we repent for areas, Lord, that we have found ourselves out of order as what we should be, Father. We repent of times and things, Lord, that we may have said or done, God, that we were ignorant to, God, because we didn't have the concept of spiritual maturity thus far, God. We know you're going to teach us at a greater level and take us into deeper depths, into higher heights in this, because there are eight messages that has to come out of this, but Father, we thank you that what we've gotten with one through four, we're already putting into action. God. We're already working those things out in order to become more complete in you, in order to become more whole in you, in order to see more clear in you. God, I thank you that our hunger, Lord, will continue to just increase the more. Our desire to have more of you will increase the more, Father. We won't fight against and rebel against God and shy away from the truths that you are speaking, but we will surrender ourselves to every truth that you have, Father. We will surrender ourselves so that our way may be prosperous, God, so that your hand can be extended upon us. We decree and declare that we are children of God. We're not the children of the enemy, Father. We're not satanic children, but we are children of the Father, and we strengthen and fortify ourselves in that that is of the Lord. We do not live as witches and warlocks, God, but we live ourselves as according to those that are called by you and that are chosen by you and those that you have brought out of darkness into marvelous light. We live according to that. And so speak what you want to speak, how you want to speak it, and do what it is that you want to do with us. However you want to do it, we commit our ways unto you. And Father, so that you may give us the desires of our hearts, the desires of our heart. If they do not meet the standard of what you want, then today we denounce every one of them, Father. Because sometimes we can pick up desires that are not of you, things that you do not want for us to have. So today we say, Father, replenish the desires of our heart and let them be the desires that you would have for us, God. Father, I thank you, Lord. And Father, we repent, Father, for not being submitted unto authority as we should, Father. We repent for not carrying out vision as we should, Father. If I have in any way, Father, done anything against the authority that is set in my life, I publicly repent, God. And I ask so mighty God that you would allow the repentance of my heart to fall upon those that would be under submission unto the authority you have given me, God. Father, let us get ourselves together in order. Let us walk together in protocol as we ought to, Father. Let us not live according to how we think things are supposed to be. Let us not try to buy you off, God. Let us not try to manipulate or deceive you, Father, but let us do things according to the way that we are supposed to, according unto the righteous way. We can yet still have life, but do it the righteous way. God, I thank you, Father. You have not required more of us than what we can give. That that you have asked of us, we can afford to give it. We can afford to give it and we can afford to do it, God, because you left the greater portion in our care just to see what we would do. Father, cover the earth in your glory. We thank you right now that you are lying upon the earth, God, as you would do a baby on a cold winter night. We need you, Father, with all the things that are going on. The earth
earth needs you, Father. The earth needs to feel the warmth of your embrace, God. There are decisions that need to be made. There are ways, God, that need to be cleared past, Lord, that need to be made certain of, God. And so, Father, we thank you that you are making certain of things, God. We thank you that your arm is not short and that you cannot save. Neither is your ear heavy that you cannot hear. You heard the cry of your people today. Your servant has stood before you and before people, God, to declare your works. And I pray, Father, it's been done according to what you would have for me to do it. I pray that I have not erred in none of it, Father, but that I've said what you wanted me to say and maneuvered in the way that you would have for me to maneuver, God, that I've exegeted in the way that you would have for me to exegete, God. Continue, Father, to bring revelation, to take us to another place in you. We declare ourselves to be on the spiritual path of maturity, God. We are on the path of spiritual maturity. We are not outside of it. We're not carnal, God. We're not living according to our flesh, God. We're living according to spiritual maturity. We decree and declare that we are growing in this. We are maturing in this, God. We are getting the substance that is connected to this. And Father, bless your people as they give into your house. They be a blessing unto your house by either method that they choose to do, Father. I thank you, Lord, that you are breathing upon their households and none of their households suffer lack. Uh Uh-uh. I counsel and rebuke the devourer. None of their households suffer lack, Father, but they move in an abundance, God, in an abundance of flow, God. We thank you and we love you for trim. We thank you and we love you for trim. May trim be all that you have caused it and called it to be in the earth. All that you have called and caused it to be in the earth. I said all that you have called and caused it to be in the earth. And any weapons formed against it, Father, they will not prosper. I come, I command you, Father, to battle against those that battle against this house. War against those that have launched attack against this house. Whether it is by their mouths or whether it's by their actions. I commend them over into your hand for you to do what needs to be done. I stay free of it. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for it now. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Any questions in the house? Any questions, any comments in the house? Hold on, let me close this out. Is Facebook up? Needs to be closed out. Hallelujah. Those of you that have tuned in on Facebook, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. There are ways. Did you type in a pin comment on that? Uh, Sharika typed in a pin comment if you desire to be a blessing. Check the pin comment out and it'll give you the ways that you can be a blessing to the house. If this word has blessed you today and you desire to be spiritually mature, then I want you to make sure that you just type in the comments. Even if you do it on the replay and you hear what has been said, just type in the comments. I connect to this word. I connect to this word. That's what I want to see. I connect to this word so that it means that you are in a position with us to be spiritually matured. You are saying that I am tired of being the way that I am. I need to spiritually mature. Even if you consider yourself to be mature, let's mature some more because I got some more maturing to do myself. So let's mature some more. I love you. Thank you. This was part four. Set the notifications to know when I go live because I'll be doing some more teachings probably in the upcoming week. I got eight of them I got to do. Have a good day, y'all. God bless you. All right, what y'all get? (laughs) Yeah. So what stood out to you? Basically, um, spiritual maturity is the only way to go, to be honest. Even though as we, you know, as a child, <clears throat> there's rituals and stuff that we was going through and, you know, thinking this is right when it ain't right or whatever. But when you get in the Word and that spirit maturity, it just allows you to see that that's the only way to go if you want victory. I feel like the, the, the word today 
But I mean, we went through a lot of scriptures and kind of fast, so I will go back and read them in detail. But as a leader, which I will begin tonight, first time been a leader, uh -huh. I feel as though that the word that you brought today allowed mm -hmm. me to put the spirit man on and keep it on mm -hmm. in order to produce a good harvest from Mm -hmm. what I, the, my 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 followers, because that's exactly what they're gonna be. And I mean, I just it, it just enlightened my enlightened my eyesight of where I'm at and where I need to be. And sometimes I need to hush, and sometimes I need to pray a lot more than I should, because that's just the way to go. Spiritual maturity really sums it all up. It's like you know. God, you know, he can be, you know, he can hit his, he's a healer. He can be a comforter. There's different roles that God is. And as a leader or as a leader, you, know, you have a lot of roles as well. You just have to make sure you stay in the right, on the right road, under the right road, and just trust God to guide you.